Let's go guys, it's Raul TV, Team R for you all, your favourite YouTube mechanic back again and what I'm doing this time round is I've got a 2011 Toyota Yaris and I'm going to go ahead and change the dash clock on it, okay, the speedometer, the dials and everything, we'll go ahead and change that on it, the reason being is, right, I'm losing my, I'm losing my mind here, this car, there's something wrong with it, basically, when you turn the ignition off, okay, the dash stays on, when you turn the ignition off, the dash stays on, flat, uh, flat battery, the battery goes flat. Um, check the ignition switch and everything, all all good, everything looks good. Um, so I'm guessing it's the faulty clock, okay, the dash clock, I'm guessing it's faulty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this bad boy here. Okay, I've got the new one there, second-hand new one. I'm going to go ahead and replace that, see if it does the job. If it doesn't do the job, okay, this is what's happening at the moment. I'll show you guys. Right, this is what's happening at the moment. The key is here, okay, as you can see. No key in the ignition whatsoever, and everything's still on. What's happening is, it's draining the battery out, flat battery, not good. So if I start it up, happy days, it starts up, okay. Uh, but when I turn the car off, key out, dash has gone off, everything, boom, comes straight back on again. Something, something wrong. Something is malfunctioning and not very good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and replace that, see what happens, and we'll go from there. Okay, the first thing what I'm gonna do is the hazard light switch thing, pry it there, that comes off, moves out of the way. Same with this one here as well. So we get the screwdriver in there, give it a little pry. Well, that should, should move off there we go that moves out of the way as well so the next thing what we're going to do is next thing what we're going to do is we're going to get the screwdriver in there there we go that's moving out of the way there we go on this side as well that should lift up I think it's just caught on there, so that should, we just pull that, it should come off as well, there we go, happy days, that comes off, little pull there, it was just caught on them little clips here, okay, so we got it off, happy days, okay, the next thing what we're going to do is, we're going to take this plug off here, that one's off, one here as well, take that off as well, that comes off, the ones inside there, this one there, and this one here, you don't need to take them off just yet. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to take these off, these 8 milli screws. This one here, this one here. You can use a Phillips screwdriver if you want or socket and ratchet with the 8 mil socket. That'll do as well. Let's take them off and uh, I think that's about it. Let's go. Okay, them two are off, this one and this one is off. I think after that, it's all plain sailing, basically. That should just tilt forward like that. And I'm hoping we don't need to take anything else off. Oh, there we go. Happy days, that's off. Let's get the second hand new one on and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so there we have it, the second hand new one. The old one's there on the floor, if you don't believe me. There it is, there's another one. So, same way we took it out. I really don't know how I took it out, but it did come out, so it has to go back in. So I think it just lined that up somehow there. There we go. That's on there. I mean, the best thing to do is put all these plugs on, and before we put everything back on, Let's try it. So put this plug back on. One here. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay guys, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. It didn't do the job, okay? I've got, that's the new one, second hand new one. 
uh, it didn't do the job. I, I'm, I'm being straight up honest with you guys. Uh, but I think I've got a rough idea. I've read up on it on um, you know on the forums and everything. Um, I've, obviously, it's an electrician's job. But there's another chance it could be the ECU converter. Okay, which is if I get out the car. Which is this here what i've done is i've took it off and the dash and everything goes off when i plug it back on it comes on again so i've got a feeling there's a fault with this here so i'm going to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i can get one a right one and uh, hopefully try that and see what happens Well, as you can see, it's night time and everything, and uh, obviously lighting's not the best here. But uh, anyway, all I'm going to say is I hope this video helps you guys out. I'm going to put everything back together again, and then hopefully get one of those ECU converter things. Um, I don't know what it does, but it, should, it might do something. And we'll put, bang one of them on, see what happens. Uh, all I'm going to say is I hope this video helps you guys out. If you want to know how to change the uh, dash clock and everything, that's how you take it off. But please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. Raul TV, Team R for UL. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.